The next step in the programming process is now to begin to write code for our project. I suggest starting with the exit button, simply because this is the easiest button to code, and also if your program is running, you always have a way of stopping the program. The easiest way to begin writing code is simply to double click on the code button, on the command button that is, to open up the code window. That will open up this code window, which as you can see, starts with the words private sub command exit click and ends with end sub. You'll notice this is the case in all code windows that Visual Basic will automatically supply the first and last lines of code. To give us more room, I will close the properties window. Generally speaking, you want to try to indent the contents of your code. This is not a requirement by Visual Basic, but it does make the programming process easier to read. I will begin by typing a comment. Comments in Visual Basic are entered by using the apostrophe. The comment will simply be to explain the purpose of command exit, which is exit the project. When I press the enter key, you'll notice that comment then turns green. This code is, is referred to as non-executable code, meaning that Visual Basic will not interpret this line of code and will not act upon it in any way. It is simply here for programmers to read. The only line of code I need for my command exit button which is actually executable is simply the word end. End in Visual Basic is how you will stop your program. I now need to go to the code windows for the other two command buttons. I can do so by clicking on the drop down box and choosing CMD English. You'll notice that in this object window that all the controls that I have on the form are now listed by their name. This is another important fact that makes naming the controls very important. So now I can click on CMD English and immediately Visual Basic gives me the first and last lines of code for my command English button. Once again, for documentation purposes, I will type in a line of code that says display hello world. The line of code I need is to display in the label the phrase hello world. The syntax of that is LBL message since LBL message is the name of my label. Pressing the period or the dot you'll notice that Visual Basic then supplies a tools tip. The tools tip is a list of all the possible methods or properties that you can affect through this label. You'll notice that caption is in the list. If I simply type caption it comes to the top of the list and I can simply finish it off pressing the equal symbol and then place in quotation marks the phrase hello world. Spell it exactly the way you want the user to see it. Press enter and as long as I have not made any mistakes Visual Basic will accept that line. Once again going back to the object drop down box and finding command Spanish. And I need to write code for this as well. I'll write a comment that says display hello world in Spanish. Press enter and once again it turns green. Like the command English button, the command Spanish button needs to affect LBL message. But once again I type LBL message, press the dot, and you'll notice that caption is there. I can, once caption has been highlighted, I can simply press the space bar, which will automatically type the rest of the word in for me. Equals, and then I'll simply type Hola Mundo, which of course is hello world in Spanish. And now I have the code that I need for my project. When testing your program you can run the project from either the code window where we are now or we could click back to the project window. There are three basic ways to run the program. One is to select run from the main menu item and then as you can see select start you can also see that F5 is the shortcut key, or I could use the shortcut menu item, which is the play button or the start button. I'll click that now, and you'll notice that my project is running. Don't be concerned if while your project is running, some of the other windows open up. If they're distracting, you can simply close them, and then rerun the program if necessary. Now, our project is running. 
you see that the user can click on English and it says hello world in the label they can click on Spanish and it says hola mundo and click on English again and that's all this project really does the events are the user clicking on either English or Spanish buttons and also they can click the exit button the exit button as you see will cause the program to stop returning to the code window let's make one more change to the form itself now you'll notice that my properties window has been closed I can re retrieve it by pressing the F4 key and now I would like to make one more change to the form the form has a caption by default it is form 1 I'll change that to say hello world by Artly simply to give us a caption for the form itself you'll notice also that the form has a name property normally you might want to change the name of this form but I'm simply going to allow the default name of form 1 to be the name when you only have one form to work with naming forms is not real critical so there you have it your first running project doesn't do a whole lot but it does run